<laughs> hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, today we're gonna look at Anthony Sorrentino, right? <laughs> now guys, I think we've gone over his interrogations in a live stream. I seem to remember making a video about this guy, but I think it got taken down. <laughs> Right, so, so guys, I'm gonna try and be somewhat not as mean. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. So guys, good old Anthony here got caught up in the Flagler Beach interrogate. I mean, staying in guys, Flagler Beach is one of my all time faves, man. So many knuckleheads in this one. So guys, we're gonna get into this, but before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment, because it really helps keep this channel going, guys. Uh, I go live, guys, um, on Fridays, so check those out, guys. Join join the dis Discord. That'll be um, in my description. And, yeah, guys, uh, guys, this chat log is really short. <laughs> it took 18 minutes, and he's like, hey, <laughs> let me come on over. Look at this. Look at that, guys. I don't even, it's, it's, it's not really worth even re reading because he tells him he's 14. He tells him he's bored, and he's like... <laughs> I'm a typical Italian, stocky, muscular, cute face, nice body, right? And he says, the the decoy says, so what are you look, looking for? He goes, well, hot sex, what else? <laughs> and he calls himself Italian a lover 37, clown world, right? Look at that. He's like, the decoy says, I've never been with a guy before. Really? Are you gay? Well, bye. Uh. Wait, I've like messed around with a guy. It's hot, isn't it? But like not all the way. How do I know you're a cop? <laughs> now, how do I know if you're not a cop, right? And once again, guys, <laughs> once again. You seem like law enforcement. I happen to know law enforcement. <laughs> hey guys, he they literally give it the exchange num numbers, the address, and that's it. You know what I mean? No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, so guys, let's just go to the old uh, segment here with uh, um, Frag's ugly mug here. <laughs> You know, Frag didn't bother me, guys, until long after. Long after. This guy, ah, he just drives me nuts, right? He just acts like he's Billy Bad, badass, talking into his shirt, like he's some secret aid, agent. He was like, dude, shut up. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's get into this. You can hear me. You need to go to the door and let this guy in. Hey, come on. Back at the undercover house, our male... Oh, I don't remember this de decoy. Who's this guy? Huh. Guys, let me know in the comments if you remember this this guy. At least he doesn't have massive traps like the me, my, my mommy, and my daddy guy. <laughs> the freaking Pennsylvania State Wrestling Champion. <laughs> Undercover house, our male decoy is greeting this 39-year-old waiter named Anthony Sorrentino. Online, Sorrentino, calling himself Italian Lover 37, has one of the shortest and most direct chats we've ever seen, with a decoy who tells him he's 14 years old. After just 10 minutes, Sorrentino writes, What are you looking for? I don't know. You? Well, hot sex. What else? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Hansen needs to bring on this narrator onto his podcast, dude, because, ah, it's so epic. But soon, Sorrentino is suspicious. How do I know you're not a cop? Duh, I don't know. How do I know you're not my dad setting me up? <laughs> then he tells the boy he will perform oral sex on him and asks the boy to call him with directions to his house. A perverted justice decoy obliges. Three story tall, yellow house. And within 15 minutes, Sorrentino. Is that a Honda Elantra? That's like an old school. Hyundai Elantra. Okay, all right, guys, look at this. Hyundai Elantra. Now, guys, do you remember? Hyundais are actually decent cars now, right? Like, look at the new one, right? So they're actually decent cars, you know? I mean, I wouldn't drive one, but, you know, people like them. 
they like Hyundai's and they like Kia's. But you guys, do you remember back when they first started in the United States? Uh, and there was like the Hyundai, I think it was like the Hyundai Excel. <laughs> dude, zero to 60 in two weeks, dude. <laughs> These things were death traps, dude. Look at that. And then I think it was like 2000, 2004. Hyundai Elantra. I knew a guy who he had one. Yeah, there, there you go. This is what, the, what this guy drives. And this is when they first started being more than death traps. They were they weren't good cars yet, but they were not death traps. You know what I'm saying? So. I can say that uh, I'd still never drive one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as usual, I, I digress. Here we go. Tino is at the door. You can sit here if you want. Just sit down. You want something to drink or anything? No, I'm okay. You are a fast mover. Please have a seat right there. Ah, Chris Hansen, son. Please, Sean. What are you doing here? Relax. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Relax. Just calm down. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I was just gonna. Just gonna what? Talk to the kid. What were you gonna talk about? I don't know. Man, we all know what he was saying. Have you told other 14 year old boys you want a BJ and you want that ass? <laughs> Baseball. Baseball. Football. Anything else? You seem a little more nervous than somebody who was going to come over here and talk about baseball or football. Now, <laughs> you didn't say anything about I want that ass. How old did this boy say he was on Fourteen. And you thought it was okay at thirty-nine to come over here and see a fourteen-year-old boy? Wow. Well, I was just going to hang out with him. Just hang out. I wasn't going to do anything with him. You exchange names and ages in a suck right, and so. fuck for a hundred dollars. About forty-five seconds later, if that. You say you're looking for hot sex. You talk about suck and fuck. What do you suppose would have happened if there was a 14-year-old boy here? I don't know. Willing I was, to have I was sex. Scared. You were scared. Yeah. I'm, Why would you be scared if you were just coming over here to talk? Because I, I, I'm, I just don't think I could have done it anyway. I mean, you get why this is yeah, wrong. Yeah. And you know, here in Florida, that's against the law, and you can go to jail for it because what? it's a felony. I didn't know. That. I wasn't gonna do anything. <laughs> I didn't really know that. Uh, we we're gonna talk about baseball. <laughs> Guys, come on. The lie detector determined that was a lie. You didn't know. Now, the other problem for you is that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults uh, who try to meet kids for sex online. Have you seen our stories before? Yeah. Catch your predator show. Yeah. So you've seen the show. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're on it. Oh look, guys! They have a they have a coming up from underneath boom guy and a coming over boom guy. I never noticed that with the boom mic. Watch. Well, now you're on it. If there's anything else you'd like to say to us, we'd like to hear it. If not, clearly you can go. No. Sorry. I just wish they didn't hear that. Outside, Sorrentino meets the Flagler Beach Police. It almost seems like he tried to go back inside. You know what I mean? Like, what was he planning on doing? During a search of his car, police find marijuana and condoms. Later, Sorrentino tells the investigator he has a mental illness. Oh, please. Please. 
come on, dude. Huh? Oh, he has mental health issues? Really? Guys, why is it always they're, they're, they always try and say that stupid excuse, please. I'm bipolar, so I'm on medication. For bipolar? Okay, and have you taken all your medication today? Yeah, I just take it at night. Then he explains how the online chat started. Online. What about seeing him online made you want to talk to him? <laughs> hey, NBC, two words, role playing, chat room, dude. <laughs> I just, because he was new, I'd never seen him online before. Okay. How long did it take before you found out that he was 14 or 15? He told me right away. Told you right away. Did that bother you? Yeah, it did. It did? Okay. Yeah. But Here still, you, you, you came here and you... You plan to have sex with him? I guess. I, uh, honestly, I was just really turned on, and I didn't know what I was going to do. I probably, you know, I mean, that's what I was thinking, I guess. I don't know what I was going to do. Sorrentino is charged with two felony counts, including attempting a lewd act upon a child. He also faces a misdemeanor charge for the marijuana police found in his car. He later pleaded not guilty.